And we bump some does coming in, so right now the discussion is whether or not we're going to get a buck right there coming out. Right there coming out. See him right there. That's a shooter. That's a shooter. Oh, that's the man. That's him. That's him. Yeah. Just let him stop. Yep. Welcome to the backwoods. My playground is out in the woods. Back in the sticks, this is my hood. Waking up early with nature's hand in my I don't know if this ain't better than that voice. <laughs> Finger on the trigger just to seal the deal. Feel the chill. Shoot to kill. It's the thrill, it's the skill, it's the rush, it's the dust. Oh my gosh. Living the backwoods life. Every year we hunt all over the country trying to bring great stories and great episodes for you all to watch. Every once in a while we get extra hunts that just don't quite fit in anywhere else. So this week we're taking all those hunts and bringing them to you in one show. We call it Leftovers. Well first up I'm filling our good friend and crew member Fred Branch. We woke up and it's snowing outside so we decided we're just going to grab the McCorder rifle, get in a redneck blind and stay warm. Bucket list getting struck off today, hunting in the snow. That's a shooter. It's the middle cross, right? Let's go get this bad boy. Ready to put my hands on him. Something, something going on right there. I mean, mass. <sighs> Clean. That right there, fellas, is why you hunt. I mean, if this doesn't crank your chakra and get you fired up, you need to do something else, because I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm normally quiet, but very rarely speechless when I kill a deer, and this is amazing. <laughs> yes. He'll be proudly displayed on the wall, no doubt. Freaking toad. Backwoods Life is brought to you by these great companies. Hawk Optics. Branson Tractors. Antler King. Lethal Products. McCorder Custom Rifles. Elite Archery and quality archery designs.
This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras. Remote cameras for hunting, wildlife watching, and security. Our good friends Brennan and Ashley Shiver had a chance to go hunt with Brantley this past fall. Ashley was just looking for one to put on the wall. It's a little bit hard to see in the video, but after Ashley made a great shot on that buck, as he's running out of the food plot, he ran head first into a huge tree. Now it was a dead deer either way because she'd made a great shot, but running head first in the tree didn't help him any. It's a miracle he didn't break off an antler. Good shot. <laughs> well done. <Good> job. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Awesome. What do you think? What do you think? Big old joker. I'm excited. That's how I'm about to cry. <laughs> you hold your deer. Hold your deer. He's pretty. He's awesome. That's a huge deer. Look at the body on that joker. They go out of this down around here. Go through wild white tail. He'll headbutt a tree after you shoot it. That's a massive buck. Yeah, I gotta get him out. <laughs> when Michael Lee tells you there's no doubt in my mind that's the one I'd shoot, take safety off. <laughs> Good shot, too. Oh, she, she smoked him down. Him. She smoked him. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Bill Jordan's Realtree, Cam X Crossbows, Scott Archery, Slick Trick Broadheads, CBE Custom Bow Equipment, Lynch Mob Calls and tree stand buddy. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Shiver Carts, your authorized EasyGo and Textron off-road dealer in Tifton and Valdosta, Georgia. This is Brantley Gilbert and I have a public service announcement for Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if it's a public service now. It's more of a complaint. Where is my birthday? Where is my sugar cookie stuffed donut? What I was in it? Sugar cookie. cookie sugar cookie dough in the middle. Sugar cookie dough in the middle. Top. Crumbles on the top. With sugar cookie crumbles on the top of it. <laughs> I just found out it was a December special. But my birthday is in January. I don't appreciate it. I ain't eating none of them. Put it back on the shelf or I won't be back. Not even for the coffee. <laughs> hey, B. I'll, I'll take those. It's okay. <laughs> Kevin and I both have June birthdays. Unfortunately, it's not deer season in June, so we can't deer hunt. Brantley's birthday is in January. He can. So he makes it a point every year on his birthday to get in the woods. So it's my birthday. We're gonna see if we can't lay down a real pretty birthday buck. But if we don't get him tonight, everybody's gonna hunt every field we got tomorrow. And we're gonna make sure he takes a long nap. He's got Dane Bramage. Well sometimes when when you say things like that, it just it's rude. Why was that rude? It's in, it's inconsiderate and it's rude. Why? Cause all my drains out here are damaged. I got water damage in the problem. They washed it up under my, my dead gum culvert pipe down the three times and I got the chain link hanging on it so trash don't, you know, the, the, the sand can go through there but the big stuff can't. Like deer. Yeah, I got drain damage everywhere. And you just throwing that around like it, you know. I was being- It ain't no big deal. I, I was being insensitive. I wanna talk about this later. 
I'm gonna give you one of them. That's my pet peeve. I can't stand when somebody says that to me, and I'm gonna do it to you. When somebody says, "We need to talk," or "We're gonna we're gonna talk about this later." Why can't we, we just talk, talk about, about it now? now? Yeah, but we can't because you hurt my feelings. So it's time. It's time to. Move. Uh, we gotta go. Hurt, we got things to did do. I hurt one feeling. Just one. No, you hurt both of them. Oh dang it! I was just trying for one. I didn't really want to do both. You hurt both of them. <clears throat> both of my feelings. All both of them. Let's go. Let's go. Well, Brantley's hunting one particular buck on his farm in Alabama. We've been hunting him for a couple days now and haven't been able to get him in the crosshairs. Maybe today's the day. It's a little late in the morning. We got in the stand a little late because they haven't been moving right at daylight. It's been too cold. And we bumped some does coming in, so right now the discussion is whether or not we're going to get a buck right there coming out. Right there coming out. See him right there. Right there. That's a shooter. Yeah, that's a right shooter. There. Oh, that's the man. That's him. That's him. That's him. You got him? Yeah, just let him stop. Yep. Ground check. <laughs> hey, country wide whitetail special right there now. We've been after him for a little bit. Oh, what, four days this week? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's about right. Four days. Four this dude dodged back. us. We've been about, we tried about every spot in the back, and this was the one stand we hadn't set in yet. Yeah. Late season with the rifle in Alabama. And the old 308. Sung him a little song. I'm glad he did not go three more steps that way. He'd have been on down the hill. Wouldn't he? A high shoulder game. High shoulder. And another one bites the dust. Check him out, man. Just a countrywide white tails. Solid eight point. <laughs> I'm so proud of this deer. You know I've killed deer bigger, but we hunted this one this week pretty hard and really all year. We tried to get a couple different people on him, and he's like every other deer. When you go to get after him, he disappears. So we got lucky today, buddy. Mm -hmm. And it's on my birthday. I'm telling you, my birthday is just a lucky day. Check him out. Check him out. Backwoods Life is also brought to you by Hunter Safety System, Knockout Lighted Knocks, True Lock Chokes, Redneck Blinds, Winner's Choice Bowstrings, and Dual Game Calls. This segment of Backwoods Life is brought to you by Walls Outdoor Goods, greater than all outdoors. This last hunt in the show is one that's kind of a surprise. Um, we told these guys that we had so much footage this year that this probably wouldn't make the show. We had to put it on YouTube or something like that. But uh, we decided it really deserves to be on TV, so hey guys, surprise. A few years ago, I met a great guy in deer camp named Casey Cole up in Illinois. Well, he called me and told me about a plan they had going on, and I had to pack up my camera and tag along. I'm Preston Collins, I'm from Athens, Georgia. I currently have ALS. He looked at me, he said, basically this disease is a death sentence. He said, but God's got this. He said, so I'm just gonna live. When I got diagnosed and they found out, we all came together like we hadn't been apart and we ain't seen each other in 25 years. I just happened to ask Preston, I'm like, hey, when was the last time you killed a deer? He says, it's been a while. Me and Casey talked, then two weeks later he called me and said, I got in touch with some people and we're gonna do a deer hunt. A buddy of mine named Chris Jennings, he is a part of a couple of clubs. And, and I called FM, who's a, a member of a neighboring camp and uh, he and I have hunted together for years and 
told him Preston's situation and he said, he said, we'll open the doors, lay out the red carpet, and, and this guy will have a hunt of a lifetime. So we uh, put the deal together and, and Preston showed up and I can see why everybody likes him so much. He's the, you know, salt of the earth guy. I brought two other buddies who, <clears throat> I'm the biggest, but they're definitely stronger than I am. A buddy named Josh Reagan and Josh Lamb. And so whatever we got to do to get Preston to wherever we need to be, we're going to get him there. I'd like to say that Casey was the brains and we were the muscle, but uh, we're definitely the muscle. And the fact that we are on this piece of property with these guys that have just offered this land, offered us a place to stay, um, the food, just the uh, hospitality. You can't put a price tag on a trip like this, man. It's unbelievable. It's giving back to somebody else. It's giving, it's giving to you. Preston uh, protected my butt quite a bit as a child. I had quite a bit of, of mouth. Not enough body to back it up, wouldn't you say? And uh, yeah, I owe, him. I owe him. I owe him big. So Preston called me. I got Preston's back. One of the members uh, specially made a trailer with a uh, shooting house on it just for Preston. Brought it brand new, never been set in. Had it welded up this week, brought it into camp, put it in a spot, and, and we know there's deer coming to that spot, so it's gonna be, uh, I, I think he's gonna have some luck. I think he's got a chance of getting a really good deer. I don't know if we've been in the stand 20 minutes we certainly hadn't been quiet, and it was just amazing. It was one of those things, I think God knew what it was gonna do today, and he's like, let's go ahead and get out there, girls. And we knew the boys would follow. So we plan on being here three days and we're an hour into the first morning and he smokes one. <laughs> so, and you and I have both had the experience of sitting somewhere in a stand for a week and uh, never getting to do anything. So there's no way you could have planned this any better. It was unbelievable. I am excited. <laughs> okay, I kept looking at him and just kept, God, he's a nice dude. <laughs> See, we South Georgia boys, and I'm, I'm aggravated now because I think that may be bigger than any deer I've killed. So. <laughs> <laughs> we call it the bucket list trip. Yeah. One down. <laughs> Check. They heard that shot. I wonder if they start riding back here. Shoot, all them boys are asleep. So yeah, they ain't heard nothing. They <laughs> thumb in the mouth, butt in the air, kind of asleep <laughs> right now. <laughs> There are several things that go through my mind. Uh, one, everybody who brought this together, relief. Because when everybody goes out to do this, you do not want to let people down. And pure joy. I, mean, I think I smiled for half the day. Can't stop smiling, just thinking about it. That's all I want to see him, see him smile. Made it all worth it. Yeah. Made it all worth it, just see the smile on his face. When you talk to him and you meet him and you see his outlook on life, it's just, it's inspiring. The good Lord only puts you on this earth for a short time. And uh, to be able to spend time with Preston is, is pretty special. 
we're going to look back at this and just be so grateful and thankful we had the time we had. It has been absolutely great to get back in the woods, play in the mud, and, and all the things we did out here. I mean, it's, it's wonderful people, just wonderful to be back out there. I don't think it can get much better, especially in light of we realize the gravity of the situation. What he has done is focused on living, not on the dying part, and that's been the part that's just encouraging and been awesome for me. You know, we all have a personal relationship with, with Preston. We know Preston. Uh, but this couldn't have been possible without people that didn't know Preston stepping up to the plate. When it comes down to it, it's, it's what it's all about. It's your friendships and the impact you make on people. Oh, yeah. The quality people, it's the first time I've ever got to meet them, and I think the world of all of them. One thing I'd like to, to bring awareness to ALS, because I would assume most people out there are a lot like me, didn't, didn't know a whole lot about it until it affected somebody that I, I knew and cared about. A lot of times we, we don't get involved until it affects somebody we know, but there's a lot of people out there that need a lot of help, and I just encourage everybody to, uh, to get out into helping hell. And no better way to do it than to get out and enjoy the great outdoors, and I think this week is a, is a perfect example of that. I'm so thankful that I was able to be a part of Preston's hunt. But the truth is that none of us know when our last chance will be to spend time in the outdoors with our family and friends. Take advantage of every single opportunity that you get. We know this show is called Leftovers. That doesn't mean anything. It's not taken away from any of these hunts. They're all great hunts. And that's one thing that we just never take for granted. We always appreciate every time we can get out there and every tag we can feel. I, I like to say hello to Laura, my wife, and tell her I love her. Janie Cole. Thank you again for letting me go off and do what I do. You have only complained like 15 times, which is minimal. Well, with time, we all kind of grow apart and, 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 and... What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be. Mm -hmm.